Hello everyone, so Red's here of the Integrated School Forms Media. So my uncle recently bought this HP laptop from a surplus store here in our place, which is roughly about 7,000 pesos. The model which I will be showing later on in this video is 2011 with a 4i5 processor and a 4 gigabit of RAM. You can actually see that there are a lot of USB hubs and ports available for use. It's quite thick like many old laptops are with the charging port located at the back end. It's very heavy too, which is really cool since I really want to have an extra laptop where I will be testing many of my projects and template designs which I also distribute for free in our website. I just finished reformatting it to the latest Windows 10 OS and decided to show you guys how to install Microsoft Office 2019 on a 2011 laptop without using any paid programs or applications. But before we begin, please hit the subscribe button below and click the notification to get more updates from our channel here on YouTube where we also share many tips and tricks you could use in the field of ICT. We have all kinds of stuff from Excel templates, video tutorials, and other infomercials. That being said, let's begin. I'll open up my command prompt first to show you guys the build of this laptop I'm using right now. This is also how you check the age of your laptop in case you wish to buy any second-hand units on the market. I'll be hiding this part since this is my IP address. If we scroll up here, you can see in the processor information the model date of this unit I'm using which is December 22, 2011. Another way of checking is by typing system information in the search bar here on the corner left of your taskbar. And you can now see the BIOS version date section which also shows you the same model date of the unit. I'll be opening my flash drive and show you the two files we will be using for the installation of Microsoft Office 2019. The first file is for the activation and the other is the installation setup of MS Office 2019. Both files can be downloaded for free which are available on the description box below. I'll be transferring these files on my desktop for easier access while we continue with this video. Just to be fair, I'm gonna show everyone that I haven't installed any Microsoft Office application here on my laptop. I'll be going to the control panel, programs, programs and features. And these are all the applications I have here installed. As you can see, I have four different internet browsers currently installed here, which on the next video, I'll be showing you the best web browser for downloading. So stay tuned to our channel for that. Moving forward, let's open the first file you downloaded, Pro Plus 2019 Retail. Double click on Setup and wait for the installer to initialize. You don't have to do anything here but to wait. So we'll just try to speed up our video a little bit and wait for the installation to finish. Note that the length of the installation process may differ depending on your processor and RAM. Now we're done installing MS Office 2019. Let's close this window and this folder too. Let's check on our Windows Start button and check the applications installed. We can see here MS Word and MS Access. OneNote and Outlook. PowerPoint and Publisher. That's MS Word. Where's MS Excel? Okay, here it is. Now we'll try to test MS Word and see if it's really working. You'll be asked to install a product key, so we'll just close this by clicking on the X button here. Let's create a blank template and check our product version. Click File and Account and here it shows that we've successfully installed MS Office 2019 but needs to be activated or else it will be disabled after 5 days. Let's close this and close our MS Word application. We go back to our desktop and use the second file we downloaded from the link. Right click on the file and choose Run as Administrator. This process also depends on your internet connection. So you just have to wait a few minutes until the command prompt tells you that product activation is successful. After that, you can close it by clicking on the X button again. That's it! No hassle whatsoever. Let's check our MS Word application again if it's really activated already by going back to File Ribbon and clicking on the Account tab. And there you 
you go guys, product activated! We've successfully installed MS Office 2019 on a 2011 laptop. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below. If you found this useful, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates in the future. But before we end this video, I would like to thank our new subscribers here in our YouTube channel, the Gmail accounts of San Vicente Elementary School and VS Bangoy, Mr. Renz Dave Calzada, Mr. Harold Arribado, Ma'am Jenny Villacruz, Ma'am Viel Marquez, Ma'am Lilibel Baldove, Miss JC May, Ma'am Iris Razel Almonia, Mr. Jerwin De Guzman, and Jennifer Tignotorio. This is our rest of the Integrated School Forms Media. Until next time, and thank you for watching.